say it. If I had this or that. God's economy does not run off politics and merchandise and money. It does not do it. God, we have, we have not failed in going to one country. We have not failed in talking to one person that we should have got to and didn't. God's economy, His Word will reach who it's supposed to reach. And He's not going to do it with my money or yours. He's not going to do it with merchandise. He's going to do it with the merchandise, the wisdom, and the understanding that He's put inside of you. I believe with all my heart, if I were supposed to reach someone, and I, it had come to a point, the desperation point of not being there, when it was in the plan of God for me to be there, He knows how to break this body down and put it there without one penny. <laughs> he knows how to break this body. He knows. You say, well, when you got there, you'd need a passport. He knows how to put one in my pocket. He put, he, he put a book on my desk that I didn't have. He put a knife in William Bennett Branham's pocket that was at home in his chest of drawer. I would think that God could put a passport in my pocket if I needed one while I was there. You know, they can forge passports and everything else. Sure, the goodness God can. <laughs> He's a great enough God to do what He needs to do is what I'm saying. The merchandise that you have in you is creative. It's greater than anything that you could compare it to. Proverbs 3.16, length of days is in her right hand. Think about that. You know what a day is? It's a message. And you say, well, I think Solomon was talking about the length of days. Well, the length of days is 24 hours in any way you want to put it. You'll never get 24 hours in one second. It's always just 24 hours. So what's he saying? A day is in the Lord's hand. And how you make that day last, look at him, and in her left hand is riches and honor. Wisdom is holding the length of the day, or wisdom is holding the message. Look at this message. Brother Branham said that a message, when it strikes the earth, he said it normally does not last more than three and a half years. And he said that in many places. He said three to three and a half years, and that message is over. Because that's the revival. And then what happens? People begin to come in left and right. They begin to... Uh, they begin to set up all their little trinkets and ideas in the message and they set up all their little dogmas and they get all their little churches and they try to say, these are my churches and I got churches in the Philippines and I got churches in, in uh, New Zealand and I got churches in Africa and I got churches all over the world. I got churches. And right away, David, when he began to number his army, you know what happened. God said, David, you're in trouble. I told you not to do that. I don't have one church. This one right here. And this is our church. I don't have one thing. No merchandise. No money. No churches. None of it is mine and I don't want it. Because the day we start figuring on what's ours is the day that is not God's. It's God's. And that's all there is to it. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. The day is a message. Look how long this message has gone. It's been... It's been seven years, five and a half years, very strong. Brother Branham said a message doesn't last more than a day, more than three, three and a half years. And he said God then is finished with it and moves on. Pentecost, 1906. By 1909, William Branham was born. And Pentecost began to go back out into the world and the things of the world. You could go on and on and on with how God ends up a message. This day that we're in now has been breaking for five and a half to six years and it's like it just started. It's just burning like fire over the earth. I don't know how much longer it'll go, but I know whatever the next day is, whatever the next message is, I am going to be in it because I have humbled myself and said, Lord, I want more. I don't think I have it all. I, 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 think, I, think, I, need, I think there's more there. There's a greater revelation. There's more that I can break into. I've never come to the point to where I said, this is it. I have said, this is it with a comma, and God is going to continue to move more. But the day you put a period on it is the day you die. 